بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دی نیم آف اللہ دی موسٹ بینیفیشنٹ اینڈ دی موسٹ مرسیفل ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو آر ویل اینڈ ڈوئنگ گریٹ دی ویڈیو آن دس ٹاپک سیلولر بیسز آف مارفوجینسز کنٹین انسٹرکٹیو اینڈ ایجوکیشنل کنٹینٹ دیٹ از بہت شیئربل اینڈ ایزی ٹو ریٹین سو ویلکم اینڈ لیٹ اسٹارٹ So before moving to the main topic, I would like to tell you that morphogenesis is the basic unit of developmental biology. In each and every topic of developmental biology, you are going to study about the morphogen and different types of morphogen. Why we will discuss about the morphogen and different types of morphogen? Because they are the initial factors which are used to induce any kind of gene expression or protein expression. So the basic should be clear that what is morphogen and morphogenesis. The first thing is that what is morphogen? A chemical agent which able to cause or determine the morphogenesis is called a morphogen. Now the next question is that what is morphogenesis? Morphogenesis is derived from two Greek words morph means shape and genesis means creation growth of tissue or organ during development and for morphogenesis we always use the word that is pattern formation in other words we can say that it is a chemical mechanism for biological pattern formation and for biological pattern formation we use the term morphological characters Morphological characters are those which we observe from our eye. For example, there is five finger in our hand that is the phenotypic character or the morphological character. The next point is fundamental process, which means the basic process and it includes the aspect of developmental biology along with the control of number one, cell growth, refers to an increase in the total mass of cell including both cytoplasmic, nuclear, and organelle volume. Number second is cell differentiation, in which a cell changes from one cell type to another. Differentiation occurs numerous times during the development of multicellular organism, as you can see in the diagram, how a simple zygote or fertilized egg changes into a complex system of tissues and cell types. The process also controls the distribution of cells during the embryonic development of an organism. Morphogenesis also takes place in mature or multicellular organisms such as in the normal maintenance of tissue, homeostasis by stem cells or in the regeneration of tissues after damage. Morphogenesis is essential for the evolution of new forms. Therefore, morphogenesis also describes the development of unicellular life forms that do not have embryonic stage in their life cycle. The next most important point is that morphogenetic responses may be induced by hormones. Hormones are chemical messenger secreted from one part of body and act on the other part that is called the target cell or target part. For example, cytokinins are a group of plant hormones. These are the hormones which promote the cell division in plant roots and shoots and they promote the growth of bird. Plants do not have cell movements. Plants have morphogenesis and differentiation throughout their life cycle which start at the apical meristem. Animals have the morphogenesis only in the early development. The movement of cells in the early embryo that change the shape, form of differentiating cells and tissue. The first morphogenetic movement triggered is castulation, which forms the future digestive tract. Now what is castulation? Gastrulation is the most important morphogenetic movements in the basic tubular structure of animal. In diagram, you can see that in embryonic development, how blastula converts into gastrula after the cell orientation or movement. 
and through imagination it forms double layer cup like structure now the most important question is that how morphogenetic movement arises so the morphogenetic movement take place by growth and enfolding of certain regions by segregation by imagination by involution by ingression or by delamination during embryogenesis embryogenesis in drosophila we first see the migration of pole cells from the posterior end and the specific or separate regions are formed that is number 1 head number 2 is mouth part or the foregut future tail is also formed on posterior side or posterior segment here are the different types of morphogenesis number 1 molecular basis and the second or other is the cellular basis molecular basis which refers to the biological activity in and between the cells including molecular synthesis modification mechanism and interactions and the second most important is the cellular basis the process that is carried out at the cellular level but not necessarily restricted to a single cell Now the cellular basis of morphogenesis includes seven basic step or mechanism cell sorting differential adhesion hypothesis epithelial mesenchymal transition which is also called EMT cell to cell adhesion cell adhesion molecules which is also called cams extracellular matrix and cell contractility cell sorting is the process of taking cells from an organism and separating them according to their type they are separated based on differences in cell size morphology and surface protein expression a process of physically separating a cell population in a suspension from the rest morphogenesis arises because of changes in the cellular structure or now cell interacts in tissue is called the cell sorting in diagram you can see the cell sorting in a protein expression how size and charge are separate in cell sorting differential adhesion hypothesis explains the ability of cells to do this has been proposed to arise from differential cell adhesion by malcolm strainberg through his differential adhesion hypothesis it is a hypothesis that explain the cellular movement during morphogenesis with thermodynamic principle the most interesting thing is that thermodynamic principle cells move to the near cells of similar adhesive strength in order to maintain or maximize the bonding strength maximize the bonding strength between the cells and produce a more thermodynamically stable structure In the diagram differential adhesion hypothesis is seen epithelial mesenchymal transition which is also called EMT is a process by which epithelial cell lose their cell polarity and cell to cell adhesion and gain migratory and inva invasive properties to be mesenchymal stem cells EMT not only facilitates morphogenesis during embryonic development but also promotes invasion and metastasis in tumors. There are three types of epithelial mesenchymal transition EMT. Type 1 associated with development such as embryo formation and organ development. Type 2 which associated with the repair process such as wound healing and tissue regeneration. Type 3 associated with tumor metastasis. Epithelial mesenchymal transition EMT undergoes through this epithelial cells. Epithelial cells undergoes through the cell transition to form the mesenchymal cells. Type 1 associated with embryo impla implantation, embryogenesis, and organ development. Type 2 associated with tissue regeneration, organ fibrosis and type 3 which is associated with cancer prog progression and metastasis. Cell to cell adhesion are of two types. 
first is indirect contact and the second one is indi indirect contact indirect content which is also called cell to cell adhesion in which neighbor cell in immediate contact with the other neighbor cell while in indirect contact animal tissue need the excess cellular matrix for stimulation or adhesion cell adhesion molecules which is also called camps are protein located on the cell surface involved in bonding with other cells or with the excess cellular matrix ecm in the process called cell adhesion camps help also stick to each other and their surroundings molecules responsible for adhesion are called camps cell adhesion molecules have excess cellular domain with the help of it cam attach or bind with the other cam it have two types of binding number one is homophilic binding and number second is heterophilic binding in the di first diagram you can see the homophilic binding one type of cell adhesion molecules bind with the same type of cell adhesion molecule is called the homophilic binding while in heterophilic heterophilic binding a cell a cam of one cell binds with the different cam of other cells here the different types or major families of cell adhesion number 1 is ig camps number 2 cadherin number 3 integrin and number 4 selectin different types of cam functions are In, it is involved in inflammation regulation of apoptosis establishment of blood brain carrier extracellular matrix the extracellular matrix ecm is a collection of extracellular molecules secreted by cells that provide the structural and biochemical support to the surrounding cell the extracellular matrix functions and we can say it is involved in keeping tissue separated providing structural support providing a structure for cells to migrate on now the next point is the molecules which help in the extracellular matrix is called extracellular matrix molecules or ecm molecules these are collagen ramblin and fibronectin are major ECM molecules that are secreted and assembled into sheets and fibers for example morphogenesis which involves the ECM is mammary gland ductor branching the, the extracellular matrix functions are cell to cell adhesion and cell to cell communication and differentiation are the common functions of extracellular matrix molecules In this diagram you can see that how cells undergo structural component and through extracellular matrix to physiological active components or cell undergoes physiological active compounds to extracellular matrix and in this process we the cycle is continuous and called ecm molecules extracellular matrix molecules now this next one is cell contractility tissues can change their shape and separate into distinct layer This is called the cell contractility. Just like in muscle cell, myosin can contract different parts of the tissues to change its shape or structure. For example, typical example of myosin-driven contractility in tissue morphogenesis occur during the separation of Drosophila and Zebrafish germ layer. In diagram, myosin persistence cell oscillatory cycle in which con contraction and expansion takes place cell and tissues contractions then thus occurs and this process is called the cell contractility now a general a general example of morphogenesis is required that is in bronchoalveolar morphogenesis of human lung alveolar regeneration occurs in adult human lungs as a result of proliferation differentiation and alveolar morphogenesis of stem cell during early respiratory system development the foregut endoderms give rise to the tracheal and lung progenerate progenitors through branching morphogenesis and in coordination with vascular development a tree like structure of a tree like structure of epithelial tubules forms and differentiates to produce the alveoli 
bone morphogenetic protein and various transcription factors in regulating the initial stages of lung development. Now, a very simple and easiest diagram of bronchoalveolar morphogenesis of human and mouse is given. It has almost four stages. The first is called the morphogenetic, second is the pseudoglandular, and third is canalicular, and the fourth one is secular. The first stage of mouse is uh, requires times is E9 to 12, and for human week three, the third week to seventh week. And next is pseudoglandular in mouse. It goes from E12 to 15, while in humans, it uh, goes from 5th week to 17. In canalicular uh, stage, in mouse, E15 to 17, while in humans, week 16 to 26. Secular in mouse, E17 to birth, and in humans, week 26 to 36. Now, in morphogenesis of lungs of humans. Morphogenesis is how the development of lungs takes place during the development. As we, as we know, morphogenesis in animals or multicellular organisms takes place only one time in their life cycle at the start of their development, while in plants it takes place throughout their life cycle. So, lungs birth from the ventral foregut endoderm, fifth week human, undergoes the branching morphogenesis or development to form the alvorization and thus the lungs are formed or this process or uh, called the morphogenesis of lungs thank you so much for listening